Why do we care about this gender and plurality in French? Why are we starting our discussion of French grammar uh, with this topic? I guess uh, like it is used very frequently. Like pronunciations are similar, almost similar. Uh, because the verb and this agrees with this uh, the gender and all of your answers are correct. We are beginning our journey of French grammar with this because in French every noun has a gender. This is not the case with English. If you say table, in French we say table, in English we say table, right? We don't have gender to table in English, but in French we do, we say la table. This should not be a surprise to uh, Indians, right? Because in our, in our languages, for example, we have kursi, which means chair. In Hindi, we have gender to nouns, even to uh, non-living objects like kursi. So we say Tumari kursi, you know, we say tumari kursi, which is like feminine. So we are used to this terminology of uh, every noun having a gender, even if it's a non-living object, right? Uh, same thing exists in the European languages, such as French, Spanish, Italian, all of them. And the reason it matters is because now this gender dictates the usage of language in many ways. Some of you pointed that out. First thing is adjectives. So the adjectives will change based on gender. Masculine adjective and feminine adjective are different most of the time. Then not only simple descriptive adjectives, but we also have something called as possessive adjective. We have demonstrative adjective. We have not learned these terms yet. So you might not be aware of what exactly they are. But let me give you examples and maybe that will uh, make it clear. So I'm going to just take examples of adjectives today. But even beyond adjectives, uh, as I guess uh, Smita, you mentioned that the participles, past participles in French, they also change based on the gender of a noun. Yeah, I said the verb agrees with the gender. Yeah, it is mostly the past participle, which is a kind of, kind of form of a verb. And we're going to go into details of that when we study the past tense and all those stuff. Okay, but right now that's that's a journey too far. Knowing the gender of the word is very important. So a sentence will consist of all these grammatical constructs. And many of these grammatical constructs change based on the gender. They have variations based on gender. Not just gender, by the way. They also change based on the singular or plural. Not just gender. They also change based on singular or plural. You know what? Let me give you an example. And that, that will be much easier for you to fathom. The next week. Okay. La semaine prochaine. This is an adjective. Okay. Now, how about this thing? Le mois prochain. What does it mean? No, the next month. Yeah, the next month. Right. So this is the next month. This is the next week. It's similar, right? But what changed? Kiran, what changed here? We are trying to say next. The next, the next. But what changed? Gender. Yes, the gender. It was la, it was feminine, that's why poshen. It was le, which means masculine, that's why posha. Le moi posha, la semaine poshen. So this was an adjective. An adjective change based on the gender of the word they are describing, based on the gender of the noun they are describing. So the nouns these adjectives are describing are samen and moi. Moi is masculine, samen is feminine. That's why we have this two different variations of the same adjective. What I'm trying to demonstrate is that it is important to know the gender of a word in French or a noun in French. Anybody knows this uh, meaning of this expression? My son. My, my son. How about this thing? My daughter. Yeah, my daughter. Correct. So see now what has changed in English. We can see that it's both my, my son, my daughter. Uh, the gender of son and daughter is different. Even then we use the same possessive adjective my, my son, my daughter. But in French, it is changing. Mon fils, ma fille. Because this now depends on the gender of the word. This is an adjective possessive. Knowing the gender of a noun in French is important because when you're going to use these other constructions like adjectives, like descriptive adjectives, or this is possessive adjective, 
or we have another uh, terminology called as demonstrative adjective for example this girl and this boy this girl and this girl yes and this boy correct it could also means that but for now let's go with this this is a demonstrative adjective this thing okay now again you can observe that based on the gender this is feminine so this is set this is masculine so this is so so garçon cette fille it's changing so demonstrative adjective is changing and possessive adjective is changing descriptive adjectives are changing and then we have not even talked about some other grammatical constructs which also vary based on the gender may fis would you know anyone knows what would this mean my sons uh, oh, sorry my sons yes plural okay so the grammatical constructs such as adjectives and we have studied like few forms of these adjectives they change or they vary i would say they vary based on the gender and number of a noun when i say number it's singular plural okay so definite articles in english is just one the right we have just one variant uh, whereas in french let's begin with masculine singular masculine singular would be le mm -hmm. the feminine singular is la feminine singular would be la mm -hmm. and then for the word starting with the vowel sign it would be l apostrophe that